Kia EV lineup just got a whole lot bigger. Today we're showing you three all new models that will greatly expand the company's EV offerings. This is our first official look at the new EV5 all electric SUV and two new concept cars that in theory at least should all be on sale in the US within the next two to three years. There's a lot to unpack here, so let's get started. Kia did us a favor by naming these things in numerical order, so let's just start with the EV3 and work our way up from there. Concept EV3, I should say. This, as we know, is still a concept, but we know Kia and their concept cars are always really, really close to their final production form. The big talking points with this car, a starting price of around $35,000. That's a huge thing to focus on. They're not specific on price yet, but it should be hovering in that range. And it's a very small form factor. This is going to compete with the newly announced Volvo EX30 and then the Kia Niro EV. Yeah, that's kind of a weird one. This is a small car that should in theory replace the Kia Niro EV, though they haven't quite tipped their hat on that just yet, but I wouldn't be surprised if that happens. Other things to focus on here, the design language is just awesome. It's super futuristic. I love these wheel arches. I've been looking at them all day. It's a very blocky upright design and these wheels are just out of this world. I've never seen anything like it. As we look throughout the Kia EV family, you can see these different shapes involved with the wheels. What on earth do we have here? This looks like a Kia EV9 had a one night stand with the Kia Stinger that this is the kid that came out of it. Am I allowed to say that? All right, friends, just drink this in with me as we walk from front to back because I don't think I've seen anything like this in a very long time. Kia says this is their reimagining of a sedan and uh, well, mission accomplished. The front of the car, the thing that strikes me immediately is that the daytime running lights are pushed all the way to the very, very edges of the car. So it looks a lot wider than it is. The hood is super, super small. I mean, we're used to a low slung sedan like this having a long hood because once upon a time you put a giant engine under there. But in this case, you don't need to do that because it's all electric. <laughs> Look at these wheels. They're triangles. I mean, these are triangles. I love that they just draw your eye down to the bottom of the car. I mean, the shape is just extremely dramatic. Come with me to the back because we have to look at this rear three quarter of the EV4. Look at this. We have this long dramatic taillight, kind of matches the headlights, but there's this double bubble spoiler almost. The thing I have to say about the back of this car is it just doesn't look like it goes with the front of the car. Kia designers do that on purpose. They like to play with these opposing angles. For me, it's a little bit too much going on at once, but what do you think? Let us know in the comments. The real question with this concept EV4 is who the heck is it for? Points to Kia for trying, but this one might be a tough sell when it hits the market. And this is the production ready Kia EV5. So a few things that we learned about this car this morning. Kia only intends to build it, at least for right now, in South Korea and in China, which means that if they bring it to the United States, it would not qualify for any sort of government incentive. That's a big deal for them because they're trying to keep the cost of this car down. So whether or not that would make it not something that would work in the US market still remains to be seen. Let's talk about specs for a moment because like I said, this is a production ready car. It's an eGMP platform car, like its sibling the EV6 but it's running on a 400 volt architecture and what that basically means is that the charging speed for this is a lot slower it kind of cuts the cost of the car down to make it more affordable for people but at the same time I was a little bit disappointed to see that you're gonna see charging speeds from 30 to 80 percent in just about a half hour that's quite a bit slower than the EV6 the specs are still unconfirmed picture roughly 200 horsepower to start with a dual motor version to come after that Shortly after filming the EV5 at the event, Kia informed us that the SUV would actually not be coming to the US market, but it's under consideration for North America, likely in Canada only. To be honest, I just don't get that. I think the size is perfect for Americans and the interior is spacious with great headroom and solid trunk space. If you're watching this in the States, don't get too attached to the EV5 but I think it could also offer clues as to what we can expect from future cars that we will get, like the EV3 and the EV4. I'd love to see the same EV9-inspired interior stick around, but those charging speeds from the 400 volt system are a big bummer. 
All right, let's talk about what this means for Kia. Today they told us, or reminded us rather, that the two biggest barriers for entry for people buying EVs are cost and public infrastructure. Today's announcement means that they'll have an EV in the US starting at under $40,000, which is a big deal for a lot of people. They're working on that public infrastructure bit too, albeit very slowly. The question I have, this lineup of five cars here, does it move the needle enough as Kia is trying to make more and more of its sales all electric? For that, we'll find out and hopefully soon. Thanks for watching.